widespread damage to homes, including downed trees and wires. New this morning, officials tell us that the tornado sirens went off at 7.24, and it was 20 minutes later, a call. The roof of the Apollo, it had come down on those who were inside. An EF-1 tornado with winds up to 100 miles per hour is responsible for all of this damage. The neighbors confirmed that yesterday. A cell phone video from the inside captured the aftermath as Good Samaritans tried to desperately save others who were trapped underneath the rubble. I to like, help as many people as possible because that was the only thing that I could do because I'm still alive. But there was one man who they could not save. It's Frederick Forrest Livingston Jr., and he was 50 years old. His family released a statement to NBC News telling us, in part, Fred was a son, brother, father, uncle, and grandpa. He was a metal enthusiast. Fred had a big heart and cared for others deeply. The Apollo Theater has been in the Belvedere community. Such has spread across so much of the country, from Tennessee. The whole house, you can feel it shaking. To Wisconsin, to Pennsylvania, as the severe system moved east Saturday. Oh, my. In Bridgeville, Delaware, a tornado touchdown took out trees and homes and was blamed for one death. In Ohio, a 13-year-old girl died after a tree fell on her home. Officials said she was trapped inside. In Sullivan, Indiana, at least three people killed Friday and 200 buildings heavily damaged. In Arkansas, twisters touching down in Little Rock and in the town of Wynn where there were at least four deaths. The back of the house. Jane Smith's home was heavily damaged while she took shelter in her basement. We had no idea it was doing this much damage down there. It was so fast. Little Rock resident Cody Coombs survived a close call, sitting in his truck when the winds intensified and a tornado approached. Yeah, 100% did think I was going to die. His dash cam captured debris flying in the air, trees toppling, but his truck was spared. I got a little crack in my windshield. I'm very lucky. Arkansas's governor has declared a state of emergency and activated the National Guard as the recovery continues. Bradley Blackburn, CBS News. Well, the storms are also blamed for widespread power outages in more than a dozen states. As of this morning, hundreds of thousands of homes are still without electricity. We're staying on top of breaking news as well now out of South Suburban, also where hair can be. Hair Club has given me the opportunity to maintain hair from my youth. 